Shalom, soldier. Most high Christ bless. Shalom, most high Christ bless you. Why did you join IUIC? Um, I joined IUIC. Uh, long story short, when I found out about the truth, um, I didn't know who IUIC was first. Uh, my mother-in-law and my aunt-in-law, my ribs people, they go to another another church, uh, unnamed church. It don't matter. Um, we went there for a Sabbath and it was pretty much like going to the Christian church. So this was once I found out I was Israel. So after we figured out it was like the Christian church after that one week, all it took was a water baptism to find out. Um, I did a little bit more research at home because in the beginning I didn't, I never believed in the Bible. You know, um, I, I didn't grow my mother. She grew up in the church. I didn't grow up in the church. Um, so I did my research. Uh, I came across a couple of schools, but uh, none of them was teaching directly from out of the Bible. Uh, none of those schools were uh, connecting our history um, as well as our present life. They weren't connecting that in the Bible. And Israel United in Christ. Uh, they were, and they still, we still do that to this day. So that's why I chose Israel United in Christ. How long have you been congregating with IUIC? I've been congregating with IUIC for a year and a year and 10 months. So it's been almost two years now. It seems like forever. Uh, I know with my fellow brothers and sisters in Chicago, it seemed like I've been here for a long time, but it's only been a short period of time. What made you decide to look for the, the most high? Um, not to sound cliche, uh, but like I stated before, um, it, it's crazy because two years ago, two and a half years ago, I didn't believe in the Bible at all. Um, you know, I, I thought that I knew the Bible. I thought, you know, I thought that, you know, my mother and grandparents knew the Bible because they went to church. And I saw it wasn't doing anything for him. So uh, my belief was based off of that. Um, so I didn't search for the most high. It actually, the most high, um, he woke me up. You know, um, I wasn't searching for him. It, it was just, I don't know, it just, I was blessed for it to fall into my, you know, fall into my lap or fall between my ears, I guess. So um, I, I wasn't searching for anything when it came to me. What scripture sealed the deal for you to walk in truth? Uh, the scripture that sealed the deal, I, it, it got to be the uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Um, you know, even though, like I said, I wasn't into the Bible, I got a, I got a little bit of a history background. Um, you know, from being in college and stuff. So when I heard us going into slavery on slave ships, uh, some of the other curses as well in Deuteronomy 28, but 2868, um, you can't make that up. You know, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't predict that to happen and, well, not predict, but you can't prophesy for that to happen and, you know, it happens, you know, thousands of years after. Uh, so Deuteronomy 28, 68, that sealed the deal. That actually made me, those are like some of the first scriptures I heard. And that made me a believer just based off of that. You know, that actually opened my eyes up and I start to open my ears up. What makes you continue to stay with IUIC? Uh, what makes me continue to stay with IUIC? Um, and you you got to be a fool not to not to stay. I mean it. Um, I, I look at the this organization. I look at the foundation of it um, from the standpoint. The foundation is the commandments, the law, statutes, and commandments. Um, just the whole setup, uh, the structure of Israel United in Christ is based off the Bible. You know, so that's what makes me stay, you know, because I believe in the Bible and truth be told, um, I've been saying plenty of other schools or heard about plenty of other schools and 
their foundation ain't the Bible. Um, I saw that. I guess I don't know if I answered the question. That's what keeps me here is because Israel united in Christ. Um, it's a place like we like we work hard to to keep the commandments, uh, learn them, make sure we keep them. Uh, we striving for the kingdom. You know, that's what Israel United in Christ is all about. So um, that's what makes me stay here because, you know, I know that as a as a person, they want to see they want to see every last one of us improve as one as God children. You know, so. Quote your favorite scripture. Uh, quote my favorite scripture. I can't quote anything, but no, nah, my favorite, uh, my favorite scripture got to be Romans 13, 11. Uh, I'm a butcher the hell out of it, out of it, but it's okay. Um, and it's, uh, it's, it's high. Now it's high time to wake up out of our sleep. I know I butchered it, but, um, the reason why that's my favorite scripture is because I mean, I, I don't, I mean, before any of us came into the truth, you know, we we fell into that same category. We were all asleep. Um, I know I was asleep. And every time, it, it's a scripture that uh, Captain Ryan um, always uh, bring out when he teach on the corners. Um, I hear it a lot. And, like, it just, it get me pumped up every time I hear that scripture because I was once in a deep sleep. I was like, damn, they're dead on life support. And the most high, um, the most high worked its way to waking me up. So that, um, you know, that that's one, that is my favorite scripture. And it also, that's what motivates me too, because the most high is telling us we're in a time where we got to wake up. Well, he's putting that spirit to his children to go out there and wake the people up too. So um, that's my favorite scripture. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.